Alright guys, BLM here. Time for another video and this is going to be pickups number 70. Um, a pretty good, pretty good day. Um, this is all from one day. Uh, I went to, um, well I went to a few pawn shops but I only picked up stuff at two of them but one of them had um, some pretty good stuff so uh, yeah I actually shot some footage so I'll just add that right here. <laughs> Alright guys, if you just uh, sh saw that clip, uh, I just got out of, I don't know if you can see that, Godfather Pawn. And um, they actually had a lot better stuff than they did last time. This is the pawn shop that I got those sealed Wii games in a previous video. And uh, yeah, just some random stuff. But this time they actually had some new PS2 and Xbox games and they were priced pretty cheap. Um, you saw I had four in my hand. I didn't end up picking up the Scarface. Because, I mean, it was $2, which is pretty cheap because it's like a $15, $20 game. But I already have it, and, um, yeah, it's not really... I mean, it's worth reselling, but it doesn't resell for too, too much. I mean, like, after the eBay, uh, like, fees and stuff like that, it, you don't really get too much out of it. Probably, like, I don't know, $7, $8. So I didn't pick that one up, and then, um, I forgot what the other one was. Oh, Red Dead Re Revolver, I didn't pick up because, um... It was three bucks, which I would have liked to get it for two, and the guy wouldn't come down, so I just didn't get that one. But I ended up getting these two games here. Um, Ratchet and Clank, Going Commando. Uh, priced at two bucks. Not bad. And the score, um, Star Wars Battlefront. Two. Uh, platinum hits, but uh, three bucks. Uh, pretty good steal there. Um, I already have my own copy. I actually just picked one up the other day for three bucks as well. Uh, so... Yeah, now I have another copy, and I'm definitely going to be selling that one. So, um, yeah, on to the next pawn shop. All right, next up is uh, MVP Pawn Shop. Uh, this is the one that, uh, the pawn shop that I got. Uh, all those good PS2 games and uh, pickups number 61. Since then, they've been pretty picked over, but um, actually, wait, you, I don't know if you can see that. There's a guy holding a sign outside in the back. Um, let's, yeah, you can't see this. The store's right there, but... Yeah, um, so let's see what they have today. Alright, yeah, um, that pawn shop was extremely picked over. I mean, there's really nothing left worth picking up. I mean, they I mean, they want like 3 $4 a piece, and for that price, there's nothing worth picking up. I mean, if they were like a dollar or something, I probably would pick up a couple of them. But really, yeah, for 3 4 bucks, nothing worth picking up. Alright, guys, now I have Value Pawn. This is a pawn shop that I... Um, got like those Game Boy games in my last pickup video and uh, that PAL version of Guitar Hero 3 and stuff. Uh, so yeah, uh, got here stuff here before, but nothing too special. But yeah, I'll see what's there right now. Uh, this Value Pawn, right when I got there, they were clearancing out all their 360 and PS3 games for a dollar a piece. Now, um, this is even better than the previous time where I was just getting one dollar disc only games. This time I got one dollar. 360 and PS3 games all in the cases, and there are a whole bunch left. I actually picked up a copy of um, a disc only copy of NCAA Basketball 10, which is, uh, if you guys don't know, like a $30, $40 game. And I'm going to be trading this in the GameStop, um, getting money, and then I'll be back right here. Um, I, I only had like $11 left in my pocket, so that really sucked. But I'll definitely be back. Hopefully, I'll get back before some resellers. So, yeah, hopefully, I can do this quick. Alright guys, it's like two hours later uh, since my last clip. Uh, sorry, I forgot to record. Uh, but yeah, I went to GameStop and traded in that NCAA basketball. Um, they gave me sixteen twenty-five, I believe, which is whatever. I mean, the game goes for around $50, um, but I don't really care. So I took that $16, um, got some more cash, and then went back to the pawn shop uh, and... Yeah, I'm actually here now. I just got out and I picked up 20 more games or 19 more games. I ended up being like 20, 24 or something like that. Um, this time, not really the greatest titles. I, I just picked up whatever I didn't pick up last time. I believe this is the other bag. Yeah, whatever. Uh, so yeah, I'll be showing you those um, when I get home. So yeah. All right, guys. I uh, just went to the final stop. Uh, I don't know if you could see that. Cash America Pawn. Um, nothing there. Uh, this is uh, one that... Uh, I got like all those sports games and 
pickup number 64. So yeah, really not the greatest, um, not the greatest uh, pawn shop here. Oh, I got Double Dragon 2 from here in my last pickup video, so I guess that was pretty decent, but yeah, overall not that great of a pawn shop, and yeah, inside it's pretty much the exact same games every single time you go in there now, so yeah, um, that's it for today. Alright, so uh, yeah, I guess I'll do the um, first pickups here. This was from that Godfather pawn. I already showed these, um, but I'll show them again. Uh, so, yeah, for two bucks, I picked up uh, Ratchet and Clank, Going Commando. Um, it is complete and really good shape, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, big fan of the first Ratchet and Clank. Haven't really played the other ones too much. I mean, I played Up Your Arsenal as a kid, but not really going. I never played Going Commando actually, so really excited to give this one a try. Um, I bet it's pretty good. And then um, this was a pretty good pickup. This was three dollars. Um, obviously, a steal if you know like how much this game goes for. And that's uh, Star Wars Battlefront. Uh, Battlefront Two, sorry. Um, Platinum hits, but it is complete, pretty good shape. Three bucks, pretty good deal. I already have a copy right here. Um, that's my own personal copy, and I already have, I actually have a uh, loose disc copy as well. So, yeah, now I have three copies of this. Uh, this is definitely going to be sold, by the way. And, um, yeah, on to the uh, actual pickups from the other pawn shop, the big pickup here. Um, a whole bunch of modern games and uh, some PS2 titles. They're all priced at a buck a piece. So I picked them up. There are 29 here. I picked up 30. As you saw in the video, I picked up NCAA uh, Basketball 10, which, if you guys don't know, is a pretty expensive game. So I traded in the GameStop. I am getting uh, around 16, I believe 16.25 or something, uh, and I just put that money into buying more games from the store. So I went there twice essentially in the same day. Um, I went there, picked up first like 10 games, and went back and then picked up the rest. So uh, yeah. 29 games here, a buck a piece. Actually, less than that if you deduct the $16. But yeah, pretty good deal. Um, I don't, like, uh, this is actually my second time recording this video. And the first time I recorded, I actually had these all in order. So I knew, like, which ones came, like, which ones I got the first time I was there and which ones I got the second time. But now they're all, all scrambled up, so sorry. <laughs> uh, first up, I'll show you the PS2 titles. Nothing that great. All filler titles. But I mean, for a buck a piece, I picked them up. So uh, I picked up iToy Kinetic. Never seen this game in the wild. It's complete, pretty good shape. Has the user guide and the instruction manual. So, a dollar I picked it up. Got Lord of the Rings: Return of the King. I wasn't gonna originally pick this one up, but they couldn't find uh, two of the games that I picked out. Uh, it was like Hellboy for 360 and uh, some Top Spin 3. Um, they couldn't find those, so um, I just decided to get this one just to make an even twenty dollars. Uh, no manual, so that kind of sucks, but yeah, I got it. Got uh, Pro Stroke Golf, which is golf. So yeah. Then uh, last but not least, I got the Hustle, uh, Detroit Streets. I've never seen this in the wild, in the, ever actually. Um, it's complete. So yeah, got it. Um, next up, two Wii games. Nothing good here. Uh, just filler titles. Uh, Guitar Hero Three, Legends of Rock. Um, yeah, I have almost every version of this game now. I'm only missing the PC version, so yay. And uh, <laughs> greatest game ever, Grey's Anatomy, the video game. Uh, this looks god awful, and I'm pretty sure it is. So, yeah, but it is complete, pretty good shape. A dollar for a Wii game, you can't really complain no matter what title it is. And uh, yeah, on to the modern games. I guess I'll do PS3 first. Um, a dollar a piece, again, not bad. Uh, Sports Champions, like the most common game for PS3, but complete, just add it to the collection. Trying to boost my PS3 collection right now. Um, Guitar Hero, Aerosmith, complete. Um, it's exactly what it is. Guitar Hero, Aerosmith, um, NBA 08, complete. This one I just picked up just because it was a PS3 game, but uh, yeah, got it. A dollar. Um, what was it DJ? Ra I'm Def Jam, Rap Star. Sorry. Again, complete. No interest in that game at all. I uh, got Face Breaker. This one does not have the manual, sadly. Yeah, actually, the receipt from the purchases in there. Um, yeah, looks like a decent game. I don't know. Haven't given it a try yet, so I'm maybe give that one a try later. Uh, after that, got Mercenaries 2: World in Flames. Um, it's a pandemic game, so it's probably pretty decent, I would think. I mean, yeah, looks like a pretty good game. So, yeah. 
Uh, I remember a friend of mine actually played that in the past, and he told me it was a terrible game, but I don't know. It looks pretty decent. And after that, I got uh, Black Sight Area 51. Uh, complete. I played this game in the past. It's a decent shooter. Nothing that special, um, but yeah, I got it. A dollar. You can't really complain. And um, last PS3 title here is w the one I'm probably most excited about is Prototype. Um, a friend of mine has been talking about this game all the time, and um, I really wanted to give it a try for myself. Haven't played it yet. But, um, yeah, got it for a dollar. Not bad. No manual. but And the case is really messed up. But, um, uh, disc is okay. So, yeah, for a dollar, it wasn't bad at all. And now on to 360 titles. Um, I believe there's 15 here. So, yeah, a dollar a piece, not bad. A, lot, a good amount of fillers, though. But, yeah, some decent titles. Uh, Where Do Wild Things Are? Exactly. Um, <laughs> it's filler. Rockstar Games presents Table Tennis. Um, this one's complete. Oh yeah, well, Where Wild Things Are uh, doesn't have the manual, sadly. But, uh, eh, looks like a decent table tennis game. Haven't given it a try. Got the outfit. Um, looks like a pretty generic shooter. Nothing that special. But it's complete. Pretty good shape. So, Got uh, Robert Lundrum's The Bourne Conspiracy. Uh, I haven't really watched the Bourne movies. I probably should. Uh, I tried to watch Legacy, but I got kind of bored, but, um, yeah, it is complete, so, a dollar, whatever, uh, got Aragon here, I hated the movie, so I doubt I'm gonna like this game, so, yeah, a dollar, though, uh, let's see, yeah, uh, Beowulf, the, Beowulf the game, um, surprisingly, I've actually been looking out for this game, I, uh, I really actually wanted to play this game, uh, I, I read Beowulf, during um, the summer last year um, because I kind of had to for school. Um, but I mean, I'm not a big fan of it and I think it's a very boring story, but for some reason I wanted to give the game a try. I know it's based off the movie, which pretty much has nothing to do with the novel. I mean, it's, it kind of messes up the story and everything, but whatever, uh, I got it for a dollar. Next up, uh, Blazing Angels. Uh, I believe, yeah, this one's complete actually with the Xbox Live thing. Uh, I don't know, huh? It's not my type of game. I probably won't like it, but I got it for a dollar. Uh, got Tomb Raider Legend. Uh, pretty good Tomb Raider game. This is actually a uh, really, really good game. All right. Tomb Raider Legend. Actually, a really, really good uh, Tomb Raider game. I actually have the Xbox version right here, and I played through this. This is a phenomenal title. And uh, I bet the 360 version is more of the same, if not better, so... Yeah, have to get that for a dollar. Got um, Universe at War Earth Earth Assault. Yeah, um, no manual for this one. I hear this is a decent uh, strategy game, so I'll give this one a try. Got Viva Pinata Party Animals. Um, I'm not a big fan of Viva Pinata. I don't know if this is like a mini game compilation or just like a side letter spin off or something. I don't know, but it was complete. A um, dollar, whatever. Um, now getting into the titles that I'm actually excited to get to play, um, because, like, these are actually titles that I've been looking out for, I mean, well, actually, sorry, not this one, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 2, um, it's Call of Duty, I'm not Call, I'm not Call of Duty fan, I don't know, they seem like very generic shooters, nothing that special, I know everyone loves them and everything, but, yeah, just not a big fan of the games, especially Modern Warfare 2, I think this is an extremely overrated game, but. However, um, yeah, Fable 2, I'm pretty happy to get this, uh, I've been looking out for a copy of this, but I couldn't find one for some reason, finally got it, um, I have Halo 1, I'm Halo 1, fuck, I have Fable 1, I'm not a big fan of it, however, haven't given Fable 2 a try, and I have Fable 3, so, if I actually do enjoy this game, I'll probably give Fable 3 a try after this, so, yeah. Next up, uh, Dark Sector. This is another, like, extremely cheap game, like a $2 game. However, I just could not find it, um, yeah, my area that was complete in pretty good shape. So, finally got it for a dollar. Complete, really good shape. Extremely happy to get this. Um, definitely going to be playing this game. Really excited to get that. And these last two games are definitely games I'm going to be uh, playing. And that first one is Dead Rising. This is Platinum Hits, but whatever. I decided to get it for a dollar. Um... Big fan of this game. I absolutely love this game. I think this game is um, really innovative in the way that um, you can 
pretty much use anything as a weapon. Uh, I just love the concept of that. And killing zombies and stuff like that, it's pretty awesome. Um, it is complete. Um, yeah, I really enjoy this game. The only thing that I didn't like about this game is the time aspect. I think that really bogged it down. But overall, I did enjoy it. And last but not least, the final game um, I picked up for a buck is um, a game that I'm extremely happy to have. I've been looking for this game forever. Could not find it. Finally got it for a dollar, and that is Gun. Big, big fan of this game. This is a game I used to play a lot as a kid, and I absolutely loved it. Um, this is a fantastic Western game. In my opinion, better than Red Dead Redol Revolver and uh, Red Dead Redemption. I really, really love this game. This is a fantastic game. Uh, it's developed by Neversoft, the people that did Tony Hawk, so I guess I'm kind of biased there, but... Overall, really enjoy this game. It's fantastic. So, yeah, those are all the pickups. Um, yeah, uh, some pretty good pickups. Hope you enjoyed the footage that I shot. Um, I plan on doing that more. And um, I don't know if you noticed, but I'm actually shooting this um, with my phone, which has a better camera than my laptop, which I used to shoot videos with. So, um, yeah, hopefully the quality of the videos uh, will increase. And, um, yeah. Um, that's everything I picked up, so thank you for watching.